But I figured out that uh, for me to really get really good jobs, I had to kind of like, you know, kind of like pivot a little bit into technology. And actually, I found myself, once I graduated from school here, I found myself doing um, training for a system called Oracle Financials. Anybody know Oracle? SAP, you guys know that? Yeah, so it's one of those uh, big accounting systems that most companies, big companies out there are used to. Uh, report, you know, day to day transactions, you know, expenses, revenue, financial, financial reports. And I was trained on that system and I uh, ended up getting a job as an uh, Oracle Systems Analyst. And I used to work for Citibank as a senior Oracle Systems Analyst. I worked there for about five years in Tampa. Then uh, I left uh, the job in 2017 to start my own organization called Upstack America. And basically, what we do at Upstack is that uh, we we help mostly African immigrants to find education and job opportunities in the same space. Uh, so we do run uh, IT job skills training programs uh, in the areas of uh, data science and robotics for information. Anybody who knows about robotics? Robotics, anybody? So we, we run a very free, uh, very free uh, intensive program where you can, you can become, like, for example, a business analyst. Uh, in the field of robotics, I actually used to, at some point, I used to work as a robotics for the uh, analyst for Cerebank. And uh, so that technology is where basically what, what, what is happening at this point is that uh, most companies out there, rather than, uh, you know, a lot of companies out there, they have those very tedious, highly repetitive processes that they normally do on a day to day basis, like for example, invoicing and stuff like that. And rather than uh, uh, them having someone to actually do those kind of invoices and stuff like that, they actually use software robots to do that kind of a job. Okay. And uh, so you know, they don't have to have someone sit on the computer. You're watching Success with Bob Mwiti Show presented to you by AppStack America. AppStack America is a consulting company that helps immigrants find amazing higher education and job opportunities in the tech industry in the United States. You can find our programs by going to www.appstechamerica.com. AppStack America, we wake you up to the unlimited potential within you. And uh, I knew that whole process of coming to the U.S. So I was like, you know what, let me start up something. Try to get students from Kenya since I knew the market very well. Uh, before I got here, I struggled for a long, long time, even trying to get visas to get here. So it was a big challenge and I thought, I felt like there must have been a lot of other smart Kenyans out there who could have got this to the US and take up the opportunities that are here. But for some reason, they were not able to do that. And I was like, you know, I can be able to do that through my own organization. That's actually how we ended up coming up with the Kenya Airlift program. So as DMKC, it's basically a program that supports brilliant Kenyan students to come and study IT and uh, business related master's programs here in the US. We usually get their funding uh, in terms of their education expenses, care tickets, visa fees, service fees, uh, accommodation, and also when they come to school on this side, also we get them funded through uh, student loans. And of course, uh, some of the partnerships that you usually have engagement, I mean, uh, some of the things that you usually engage at uh, universities when you have those collaborations with them is for them to actually give our students uh, something called graduate citizenship awards, which is more like a arrangement where the school is part of their tuition and also you work for the department. So yeah, so that's how we are able to fund the students to come and study here. And uh, at the time when I was thinking about that, that's when I met him and um, came out, sat down, came out with really good ideas, like to everything, and we rolled out the program in 2018. Now, I know this class is our business uh, business class, and uh, today just wanted to give you a little bit of that background, how I came, you know, how I came about, uh, you know, coming up with this kind of a company, and just to inspire you guys to do very well in school and actually look even beyond just getting employed here. No, I, when I was working at uh, Citibank, I used to have a very well-paying job. In fact, actually, when I left that job, I was earning about close to 140,000 per year. Uh, and I was just, I was just, I didn't, I was not even in management. I was basically just a normal IT guy, you know. I just used to work as a senior system.
systems are huh? still wrong. No big titles, nothing. And I used to make that kind of money, you know. So, so what is most important? Even you guys, as you sit here for the four years, I don't, I don't know how long it takes for undergraduate uh, students to complete their studies. Even as you sit here for those four years, always look around and try to see. Apart from what you are getting out of, as part of your academics, what tells what are, what other skills do you have? Like, because what what employers out there are looking for is not just academics. It's not just that you know, that uh, GPA that you got. There's a lot of other things that you are looking for, you know? Like, if you're going out there, you're gonna go out there and start competing with, you know, Asians, you know, Chinese, Indians, you know, not just Americans, you know? And these guys, you're competing, let's say, for example, you're from IUP, you're not going to compete with just IUP students to get jobs, right? I mean, there's a lot of other graduates from Harvard, from Stanford, from, you know, uh, Penn State, and all those other big universities. But you see, what will help you get those really good jobs is basically the skills that you're going to have outside of academics. So what are those skills that you're going to be having? Especially you know, when you have a business uh, degree, you have to kind of like try to see where else you can improve yourself, you know. Maybe if you're in accounting, get a CPA, for example. If you are doing finance, get some certifications out there probably be for finance people. And with the, with the current world, uh, most likely you won't you won't avoid being in tech because even if you are you're working as an accountant, you'll probably be using these systems. He was an accountant. You've been watching Success with Bomweti Show brought to you by Upstack America. Come back next time to hear more steps and missteps that I took on the path to becoming a successful immigrant in USA. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn.